Hi, welcome to lecture 33, case study 13. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to calculate tolerance stack up in assembly using position and profile tolerance. Let's look at the join first. There are three components. Part number one is the pink one times two, one, two. Part number two is a base plate and using the M4 bolt, fix those two parts together. Part number three, push this through. So the problem we're going to try to solve is to find the maximum and minimum gap or distance between this surface and this surface or between A and B. Let's look at the join first. Part number one, we use the bottom surface as datum A here, bottom surface. Datum, uh, datum B, we are going to use two uh, no, diameter 5 holes as use a pattern as datum B. And here is a position 0 0.4 reference to A. And here we are going to have a profile tolerance which is using datum A and B. Okay, and there's another hole which basically is this one. We use the position tolerance. Okay, let's look at part number two. Part number two, we use the top surface here as datum A, and we use the bold M4 times 4, and it has a pattern position 0 0.4 reference to A, and here's datum B. Basically, those four bold is datum B. Okay, and here, there's an edge or around, there's a profile here. So it's pretty clear we have the part number one and also we have part number two. And eventually we're going to assemble the part number one to part number two is here. Once it's assembled, we're going to calculate the maximum and minimum distance between A and B. So let's analyze each tolerance one by one. So we each tolerance one by one, which one we should use and which one we shouldn't use. This one first, the position tolerance 0 0.4a. This position tolerance controls the distance between this one and this one. So you can see the distance is changing. However, it doesn't matter how this distance change it won't affect the distance between here and here because the datum B is two holes. We're going to use these two holes to establish the coordinate X and Y. And then eventually this distance of 20 will affect the gap, right? So position, no need to consider. And uh, what about this one, the profile? Since this profile will affect the position of this surface, the position of this surface will move from left to right plus minus 0 0.5. So this profile should consider, should be included. Okay, next, what about this one then? This one is controls the hole basically is this one. So this one will move this way, but that's not direction we want to calculate because we want to calculate between this one, this one, the distance. So this position, no need to consider. Okay, so next, let's analyze the part number two here. Part number two, pretty similar. We are gonna use the four pin or M4 as data B. Position 0 0.4 will affect the distance between this one and this one. So you can see the distance changing here. On reference on the uh, TED 60. So since distance changing, obviously will change the gap A and B that we want to calculate. So this position, we should include it in the calculation here. Okay, next one, what about this profile? The profile is only affect the edge profile right here, and it does nothing related to what we need to calculate. 
so no need to consider this profile anymore okay so we have all of the tolerance basically there's two you see here two profile because this part is given times two two profiles and here we're going to have a position tolerance right and then we're going to have all of this basic dimension or TED that's all we need to consider and once you analyze all of these torrents, you just, you know, there's one more last thing, don't forget. Since this hole will be produced, the maximum is 5.2 here. See here? 5 plus minus 0 0.2. So the maximum diameter will be 5.2. Once there's a maximum diameter and there's a gap here, then it will allow the assembly shift. And you, if you have learned my previous module, assembly shift means if there's a gap between the hole and the pin, then there's a possibility that the assembly position will deviate it to the different direction right here. So the maximum assembly shift, they're going to use the 5.2 minus 4 is here. 5.2 minus 4. 4 is the bolt diameter M4. Okay, and then divided by 2 plus minus. So basically, we have assembly shift plus minus 0 0.6. So that's the last tolerance we should include it in the tolerance stack up. So you can see number one, profile times 2, right? And then number two, there's a position tolerance here. And then lastly, there's assembly shift. That's all you need to consider. And then you put the material, the tolerance stack up form, and then you get the result. Here, nominal is 20 and the plus minus 2.6. And then you get the maximum distance is 22.6. Minimum distance is 13.2. And that's the way you're going to use to analyze the tolerance stack up on assembly part using the position and profile tolerance okay thanks for watching i'm gonna see you in the next module